What is up guys? Welcome back to another Instagram tutorial. My name is Steven Womack and once again, believe it or not, we are doing a tutorial about Travis Scott. Since he did that collaboration with McDonald's, my Instagram DMs blew up. All of you guys really wanted to know how to recreate that um, typical Travis Scott inspired orange vintage film look. And once again, here is a tutorial on this new look that he just posted on his Instagram. I will show you how to recreate this look using your smartphone and the free Lightroom app as I always do. And of course, I've also created a preset on exactly this look. It's on my website. The link is under this video. Go check it out. It's in that all presets pack along with over 100 presets that you can just easily paste to every one of your pictures and once you have the all presets pack you will be getting new presets every time I create new presets so you don't have to buy the pack all over again just buy it once and the preset pack will be growing and growing and automatically be updated in your link so make sure to check it out link is under this video and of course if you haven't already also make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell to not miss out on any of my future tutorials or any other videos that I do and if there's anything else you need from me any questions that you have always feel free to DM me on Instagram at Stephen Womack is my handle. I'm always open for conversation and I'm really excited to hear your ideas, your um, requests for new videos. So um, feel free to do that. I've said enough. Let's jump right into this tutorial. The first thing you will need, of course, um, is your smartphone. And I want you to take a picture outside or inside, but make sure the flash is on. And once you've taken that picture, we want to open it in the free Lightroom app. Now I've chosen this picture right here of Travis Scott in front of a McDonald's. Um, it's the same outfit so the settings are as close as we can get but it looks like um, it's not edited or at least not shot with a film camera. So we want to do this now. The first thing you want to do in the lights tab is go to curve on the upper right side and I want you to recreate this curve exactly as it is right here. So just pull down the shadows on the bottom left a little bit and then create that smooth S curve to the highlights on the upper right side. And once you have this, we are done here. Then we want to boost up the exposure a little bit in this case to plus 0.19. And then we want to boost up the contrast to plus 39 and pull down the highlights all the way to negative 100 and boost up the shadows to plus 90. Two, so almost all the way as well and the whites we want to pull down all the way to negative 100 and um, pull down the blacks as well to negative 85 right here and now it looks as if it was shot um, with flash on we have really high hard contrast and um, just smoothened out the rest a little bit um, pulled up the shadows so this looks good we're done with the light we go over to the colors and what you want to do here is just boost the temperature to plus 27 and you can already see that orange tone to the picture so it's getting really close to the look already now for the tint we want to pull that down to negative 19 right here and the saturation all the way to negative 23 then we scroll up hit the color mix and now we want to switch over to the orange tones right there and then we just want to boost up the hue a little bit to plus 26 and the saturation up to plus 45 right here just to get those skin tones back and give them a little green tint, um, yellow green tint as in the original Travis Scott picture that we're trying to do. So we're done with the colors. We go over to the effects tab right here and what you wanna do is just pull down the clarity a little bit to negative 36 to just kinda of get that blurry soft look on the edges and then we want to boost up the grain right here all the way to 30. Not a lot, but just enough to kind of give it a little vintage feeling. And then we scroll up, hit split toning on the upper right side. And for the highlights, I want you to pull over to a hue of around 49 right here and a saturation of 56 or 57. And for the shadows, we want to pull over to a hue of 65 and a saturation of seven. And um, now we got that orange tint to the highlights and the shadows, and we are done here. And that's it, guys. This is the Travis Scott look. Here's a little before and after. 
and I hope you're happy with this result. I really like it, and I think we came super close to that McDonald's Travis Scott inspired picture that he posted. Um, of course, I created a preset of exactly this edit that we're doing here. So if you don't want to follow along to the whole tutorial or you find it kind of difficult, um, just get the preset. It's on my website. The link is under this video and it's in that all presets pack with over 100 presets that you can just choose from and easily paste to every one of your pictures to make them look great. And also if I create new presets, they're automatically updated um, to that all presets pack. So it's a growing pack. You just have to buy it once, but it keeps growing. It's a great deal. Make sure to check it out. Link is under this video. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell. We've almost reached 90,000 subscribers now. This is absolutely crazy to me. And I have a little special for you guys once we reach those 90K. So um, let's get there and um, I'll show you what I have for you. Really excited about that. And of course, if you need anything from me, if you have any new requests, new ideas, feel free to DM me on Instagram at Steven Womack is my handle. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I'll see you in the next tutorial or any other type of video I'm gonna do. Um, I have a lot planned for you guys. Um, so be ready, stay healthy, stay creative, peace.